We live in a remarkable age. Thousands of satellites orbit our planet. They are our eyes in the sky. These satellites help us understand Earth and communicate with each other. They come in different shapes and sizes. They also orbit at different altitudes. There are three main regions where satellites operate, low Earth orbit, medium Earth orbit, and geostationary orbit. Each orbit has its own advantages and disadvantages. Low Earth orbit, often abbreviated as LEO, is the most crowded region of space around Earth. This bustling zone is teeming with a myriad of satellites, each serving a unique purpose. From communication to weather monitoring, these satellites are indispensable to our daily lives. Satellites in LEO zip around our planet at high speeds, traveling at approximately 28,000 kilometers per hour. This incredible velocity allows them to circle the Earth multiple times a day, providing continuous coverage and data. They are relatively close to Earth, at altitudes ranging from 160 to 2,000 kilometers. This proximity is crucial for various applications, including high-resolution imaging and real-time communication. A satellite in LEO takes about 90 minutes to complete one orbit. This rapid orbit time means that a single satellite can cover vast areas of the Earth's surface in a short period. This means they pass over the same spot on Earth multiple times a day, making them ideal for tasks that require frequent updates, such as weather forecasting and environmental monitoring. Satellites in LEO have several advantages. Their close proximity to Earth allows for high-resolution imaging, which is essential for detailed mapping and surveillance. Additionally, the short distance between these satellites and the Earth's surface results in low-latency communication. This is particularly beneficial for applications like internet services and real-time data transmission. This means there is very little delay in signal transmission making LEO satellites ideal for tasks that require immediate data exchange such as video conferencing and online gaming. However, LEO satellites have a limited view of Earth's surface. Due to their low altitude, they can only cover a small portion of the planet at any given time, necessitating a larger number of satellites to achieve global coverage. They also require frequent reboosts to maintain their orbits. This is because the thin atmosphere at these altitudes creates drag, gradually slowing the satellites down and causing them to lose altitude. This atmospheric drag is a constant challenge for LEO satellites, requiring them to periodically use their thrusters to reboost and stay in their designated orbits. Despite these challenges, the benefits of LEO satellites make them an integral part of our modern world. Medium Earth orbit lies between LEO and GEO. Satellites in MEO orbit at altitudes between 2,000 and 35,786 kilometers. They take about 2 to 12 hours to complete one orbit. MEO is home to navigation satellites like those used in the Global Positioning System, or GPS. MEO satellites offer a good compromise between coverage and latency. They can cover larger areas of Earth than LEO satellites. However, their signals experience more latency than LEO satellites. This is because the signals have to travel farther. Geostationary orbit is a special orbit where satellites appear to hover over a fixed point on Earth's equator. This is because they orbit at the same speed as Earth rotates. GEO is located at an altitude of about 35,786 kilometers. Satellites in GEO have a constant view of a large portion of Earth's surface. This makes them ideal for communication and weather monitoring. However, GEO satellites are expensive to launch and maintain. They also experience significant signal latency due to their distance from Earth. The International Space Station, often known as the ISS, is a marvel of engineering. This colossal structure, a testament to human ingenuity and international collaboration, floats gracefully above our planet. It is, in fact, the largest human-made structure in space. Stretching across the sky, the ISS is about the size of a football field, making it a prominent feature in the night sky for those who know where to look. The ISS orbits Earth in low Earth orbit, or LEO, at an altitude of about 400 kilometers. This orbit allows it to circle the globe multiple times a day, providing a unique vantage point for observing our planet. It travels at a speed of approximately 28,000 kilometers per hour. At this incredible speed, the ISS experiences 16 sunrises and sunsets each day, offering breathtaking views to its inhabitants. This means it completes one orbit every 90 minutes. As it zips around the Earth, the ISS passes over different continents, oceans, and landscapes, providing a constantly changing view. 
The ISS serves as a microgravity laboratory and an observation platform. Inside, astronauts conduct experiments that are impossible to perform on Earth due to gravity. Astronauts from around the world live and work on the ISS. This international crew collaborates on scientific research fostering a spirit of unity and shared purpose. They conduct experiments in various fields including biology where they study the effects of microgravity on living organisms, physics where they explore fundamental questions about the universe and astronomy, observing celestial phenomena from a vantage point free of Earth's atmospheric interference. The ISS also provides valuable data on Earth's climate and environment. By monitoring changes in the atmosphere, oceans and land, the ISS helps scientists understand our planet better and develop strategies to protect it. The Hubble Space Telescope is one of the most iconic instruments in the history of astronomy. It orbits Earth in low Earth orbit at an altitude of about 547 kilometers. Hubble's location above Earth's atmosphere allows it to capture incredibly sharp images of distant galaxies, stars, and planets. Hubble has revolutionized our understanding of the universe. It has provided stunning images of celestial objects. These images have helped scientists study the birth and death of stars. They have also helped scientists learn about the expansion of the universe. The Global Positioning System, or GPS, is a network of satellites in medium Earth orbit. These satellites provide location and time information to users on Earth. GPS is used in a wide range of applications including navigation, surveying, and mapping. GPS relies on a constellation of at least 24 satellites. These satellites are positioned in medium Earth orbit so that four satellites are always visible from any point on Earth. By receiving signals from these satellites, a GPS receiver can determine its precise location. Satellites have become an indispensable part of our modern world. They provide us with essential services. These services include communication, navigation, and Earth observation. The different orbital regions around Earth offer unique advantages and disadvantages for satellite operations. Understanding these characteristics is crucial for selecting the right orbit for a particular mission. As technology continues to advance, we can expect even more innovative uses for satellites in the future. Thank you for visiting Physics Around Us. Don't forget to subscribe.